For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to hurt people. Not physically, physical wounds heal, but emotionally. I wanted to get them where it would hurt the most and I didn't want them to heal. I love to see the hurt in their eyes, knowing there's devastation in their heart. It's an aphrodisiac to me. I used to yearn to see the hurt that I caused from behind the scenes, and I hid from it. But I don't hide from it anymore. I relish in it. And that's why I called him. I can't believe you finally made it. Come on in. You're nervous. It's been a while since we've seen each other. A decade, to be precise. Too long. A long decade. <laughs> Tell me about those years after my parents... Kicked me out of their house? <laughs> well, it was back to foster care for me, which was difficult because I had been with your family for five years. And then it was hard getting used to going in and out of How the hard house. was it, Avery? Tell me you suffered. But you eventually found your place? <laughs> well, no. I had turned 18, so I was out of the system and I had to fend for myself, which was a whole set of issues in itself. But I don't want to talk about my sad stories. Uh, how have you been? Mm, been waiting years to hear your sad stories. Every one of them. I've been well. I've been thinking about you a lot. I remember what things were like between us when we were living together. I thought you had forgotten about that, or at least wanted to forget about it. You were right back then. I just didn't want to see it because I knew my parents would... Use their religion to excommunicate you from the house like they did with me? <laughs> We have to laugh or we'll cry, right? Or I laugh as you cry. That's how I like it. Either way, I missed you. I missed us. After all these years? Mm, too many years.